Michael, a remarkable cup tie. What's your take on the afternoon? Delighted to be through. You're right. There was a lot of drama in the game, a lot of things that happened. Firstly, we didn't play well, so we're fortunate to go through. I thought Party Fissel were good in the game, and obviously there's a lot of memorable moments from it for different reasons. Penalty given against you, VAR check. I presume you're not happy about that. Uh, listen, it's it, it's the it's the ruling. It's the, the the officials are only going by that. I think that's a harsh penalty. But listen, it's the ruling, and maybe we need to look at that. But I don't want to go back and forth about VAR because I just at the moment it's uh, it, it's too much in the air, and I'd rather concentrate on the football that happens on the pitch. You had work to do at half time. You made two changes, and it did spark your side into life. Yeah, it did. Listen, you give opportunities and uh, maybe I disrupted uh, the, the team a little bit too much today. I believe in the strength of the, the squad. Opportunities are there to be taken and the team's the vehicle. So I didn't think we were very good first half. So there was nothing against Todd and, and uh, Yanis coming off. But obviously Kamar and, and Ryan Kent give us a bit more of a threat in behind. And that's what we needed second half. And straight away at the start of the second half, we were much quicker in our play and much more dangerous. It's not often you see James Tavernier have a penalty saved. That happened in the game. And then, of course, Malik Tillman scores your second goal, but you immediately took action. Yeah, listen, there was a massive misunderstanding in the whole thing. So Malik gets injured. He's the boy that's injured and the ball goes out of play. He doesn't see that he's been kicked out for a throw on. So naturally, when he stands up, he thinks he's got to go and press the throw on. That's the instruction that he's usually given. Uh, he hasn't seen the ball's been kicked out and the party are going to kick it back to us. So, listen, we scored off it. It's controversial, but this football club's built on high standards and, you know, we want the best for the game. And I didn't think that was right and just that we'd win a game of football like that. Not at home, not against Party Fissel, not against anybody in the Cup. I think I made a lot of mistakes today in terms of maybe team selection. Um, but that wasn't one of the mistakes I made today. It was the right thing to do just for football in general and certainly to uphold the standards of this football club. If you watch it back, it was a big misunderstanding where Malik Scott fouled. He doesn't see what's happened. He actually sort of looks around and puts his arm up in the air and then goes and presses the ball. So he's unawares. And uh, I don't want that hanging around his head, which would be unfair to him. And I don't want to win a game in that way. And it was credit to both sets of players because that didn't linger. Afterwards, Parik Thistle took the decision that you made in the sporting context which you gave and then the contest just continued as was. Yeah, of course. And listen, I think the players understood it was a bit of a misunderstanding as well and I think they spoke about it on the pitch. I had to confer with my bench to make sure what I saw was correct and I think it was the right thing to do. It's never easy that in football, but it, it's a better place for us making that decision today and I, and I feel that it would have been unjust for us to win a game in that way. Have you been involved in anything like that before in your career? No, never. Um, and, you know, it, sometimes not everybody's going to agree with you, but I think when everybody sees back the full situation with the way that Malik goes down and is unawares, that's what caused it. You know, it, it's, it's unfortunate it's happened, or rather it didn't, but I felt we dealt with it in the right way. And you got through, which was the main thing, Bob Thank you.